spent uh, the day at the maintenance department. Uh, it started earlier uh, with me driving with the colleagues in a de-icing truck and actually uh, uh, seeing what is done there and I had the chance to even spray. Uh, I do also know that some of the guys stand outside doing this and it was pretty cold today. I cannot imagine doing this, so high respect. We went to the hangar where we are right now and here um, it's amazing how many different tasks we are doing, how many different qualifications uh, our maintenance people have. And, and I saw very different things. There was an oil change. Uh, we fixed some uh, metal. I saw the battery shop. Um, I, I did an inspection with a work order card. Uh, I saw the systems we are using. I saw the, the, the issues. Nobody has an idea who, who is, hasn't been here or is not working here how many different tasks we have, how many hundreds of people ensure that our aircraft are maintained to the standards. You know, we, uh, even me as a pilot with a maybe deeper knowledge of operations, we just take it for granted. We get on the airplane, we as passengers, and we just fly. But it's amazing, behind me there's two sea uh, check aircraft. Yeah? When you go with a boroscope inspection inside to see how many uh, windings of a screw are inside of a very little part and the inspector is then signing off that it's okay or in our case today where it was not okay and then he opens another task for another team to come and fix that and it's amazing it's it's I think it's millions of millions of pieces working together in our maintenance department together with engineering of course and making this this a place wh which keeps a Baltic at the levels we are so thanks to everybody working here it was super interesting day uh, I learned a lot and I think everybody who works in, in Air Baltic who has the chance to visit the maintenance department would see something most of us are not aware of.